the information trickles out, and therefore the WWE's reaction to it uh, kind of comes in two phases and has to be tempered after an initial um, uh, memorial show, we could say, a tribute to Benoit, and then we find out truly what happened. Take me through your personal stages of getting this information about what had happened. Uh, we're all in suits because it's going to be Vince's funeral. Right. Because he blew up. So we're all in suits. Um, remember Austin, the, you know, the barricade? Mm-hmm. We're all called to the ring. Johnny calls in and all the refs. Everyone in the ring. Everyone in the ring. Everyone in the ring. Austin is on the side of the barricade. Well, you... It's like someone died. And everyone's like, oh, Johnny's like, does one of those. I see Dean Malenko go behind Vicky, whisper something, and she just loses it. And that's what I was like, what the, what the fuck's going on? What, what's, what's going on here? And then Vince tells us all what happened. Like, what, you know, uh, Someone broke, as far as, as far as he knew, someone broke into the Benoit house, killed his wife, his son, and Chris. Jesus. Like, uh, what? I, I know. We're going to have a memorial show tonight. Um, if you guys want to do a, uh, talk about memories of him, great. If you guys you know, want to be part of it, uh, part of the show tomorrow at SmackDown, you can, or you can fly home. Me, Punk, and the Major Brothers, Hawkins and Ryder, we were riding together. Four of us were in a hot tub as stuff just kept rolling into the phones more and more, more and more, more and more. And we're like, oh, come on. Same day. That night. We, all, we, shared, we shared two rooms, mm-hmm. but we always we would watch Raw. Oh, okay, so this is after the, yeah, after so the none show. None of us were needed for Raw because it was just a, a memorial show. Right. So we all went to the hotel. And oh, okay. Like I said, we're, we're just chilling in the, in the hot tub and just relaxing. News keeps coming in. News keeps coming in. What the fuck? Now we turn on Raw and it's still a memorial show, but now there's more news coming in about what's really happened. Just blown away. Literally blown away. Blown away. Still to this day. I don't, I don't, I don't think it happened. I don't think it happened. Did anyone notice any changes in Chris's behavior? No, before? not that I know of. I mean, I, I rode with him twice, and he was, I don't know. Do you ever hear Vince say anything after um, after it, it all comes out that Chris did this? No. Like, that's a crazy thing. It went from, like, being, we had a meeting about it, about what happened, mm-hmm. and then... Never talked about it again. But it never was told to us, hey, we're not going to talk about this anymore. It just, it just kinda, stopped. You knew. Yeah. You knew we can't talk about this. Were they right to drop the uh, storyline of Vince's death, you think, in the wake of this? Yeah. You can't do that. Okay. You can't, like, especially if you're going to fake a death. You can't fake a death. That's going to happen. You can't, have, like, you can't have someone kill him. That's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, right. You think they were sincere in this? I mean, Sherry Martel died a week before this, and nobody took any angles off television. Just because it was. That. I didn't realize that, that she died. The she week did. Before. She died on uh, June 15th. And, um, June, yeah, you know, 10 days before. Yeah. So um, I guess just because this was so high profile, mainstream. Crazy thing is, my godson was born that day. Same day the Ben Lost stuff happened. Oh. Pretty crazy to think about. Um, you have to stop that angle. You can't go. You okay. Can't. There's a lot of conspiracy theories out there about this. Someone killed him. Someone killed him. You do think that? Yeah. Why? There's too much evidence proving the evidence wrong. I feel. <laughs> 